On February 2, United States officials announced that they spotted a Chinese surveillance balloon flying above the state of Montana. The following day, the Pentagon's press secretary stated that the balloon was now located over central United States, traveling towards the east and hovering at an altitude of approximately 18,000 meters. People on the ground were able to take pictures and record videos of the object. While China has insisted that the white sphere that floated over North America was just a lost weather balloon, the incident has sparked worldwide attention to so-called spy balloons and the seemingly outdated technology's role in modern military applications. So, in this video, let's take a closer look at the history of military ballooning and explore some of the reasons why they're still being used today. The first recorded military use of balloons dates back to the French Revolutionary Wars. In 1794, the French military used balloons to observe the enemy's positions during the Battle of Fleurus. These balloons provided real-time intelligence on enemy movements, which was crucial in determining the outcome of the battle. Balloons were used extensively throughout the Napoleonic Wars and proved to be an effective tool for gathering intelligence. During the American Civil War, both the Union and Confederate armies employed hot air balloons for reconnaissance purposes. They observed enemy movements, directed artillery fire, and communicated information between different units. The balloons were also used to guide the movement of troops, and their effective utilization contributed significantly to several crucial battles. Military ballooning continued to evolve throughout the late 19th and early 20th centuries. During World War I, most armies utilized balloons to spy on enemy forces. Enemy spy balloons were so effective that they became a major target for air forces. In efforts to support the war, scientists and engineers continued to improve balloon technology, making them larger and more advanced. Dirigible balloons, which were developed prior to the war but introduced during this period, could reach an average altitude of 1,200 to 1,800 meters and were powered by engines and directed by propellers. Unlike other balloons that were moved by the wind, dirigible balloons were motorized and massive, measuring up to 200 meters in length. This type of balloon had the advantage of moving slowly, allowing it to remain in one location for an extended period, and it was capable of carrying soldiers, machine guns, and two tons of bombs. World War II saw the rise of barrage balloons as a defense against enemy aircraft. These balloons were smaller than dirigible balloons and were anchored to the ground by a cable. They were generally considered defensive in nature and used to counter barrages of incoming enemy aircrafts. Barrage balloons had explosive charges attached to their cables, which could destroy enemy aircraft. However, by the end of the war, barrage balloons became targets of German high-altitude bombers, rendering them less effective. During the Cold War, balloons were used for a variety of purposes. For example, the U.S. military used balloons for high-altitude surveillance, gathering intelligence, and monitoring communication systems. Used as part of the Strategic Command System, they provided early warning of incoming enemy missile attacks. The Soviet Union used balloons for weather monitoring and for military communication purposes. Balloons also played a role in Cold War propaganda, with both the US and the USSR launching balloons carrying leaflets, books, and other materials as a means of disseminating information and influencing public opinion in their respective countries and beyond. Balloons continue to play a role in modern military operations, primarily in intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance missions. High-altitude balloons equipped with sensors and cameras are used to gather real-time data on weather patterns and terrain information, as well as monitor enemy activity. They can be deployed quickly, provide persistent coverage, and can operate in remote areas where other types of aircraft cannot. So, wonder what happened to the Chinese high-altitude balloon that was flying over the US? Well, on February 4, an F-22 aircraft fired a short-range, heat-seeking AIM-9X Sidewinder missile and successfully downed the craft. The remains crashed off the coast of South Carolina and were retrieved by U.S. authorities for analysis. Surprisingly enough, Chinese balloons suspected of surveillance activity have entered U.S. airspace five times since 2017. In prior incidents, China was able to recover the balloons. Similar balloons were also seen in Japanese and Taiwanese airspace in the last two years. But the question remains. 
Why would China use balloons over advanced technology such as satellites or UAVs? China's choice to use high-altitude balloons is due to their cost-effectiveness and low risk. Balloons can operate for extended periods of time at a lower cost compared to satellites and are more difficult to detect due to their ability to fly at high altitudes of up to 18,000 meters. They are inherently stealthy as they produce very little heat and have a minimal infrared signature that can be picked up by infrared sensors. The quick retrieval of balloons also makes it a low-risk method for collecting information. So, while balloons might be seen as an outdated technology, they have proven to be useful in modern times. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. And, of course, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos.